one of my fucking favorite panels. And this is a thing where you don't normally see much in reviews where it's just like, oh, you know, like the entire chapter was awesome, and, you know, like that. But never, like, and this is one thing I've always loved about Shinobu's art. And, like, still today, one of my, like, I would say, if not one of my favorite moments in Magi, but just the way that it's drawn and just the way of the area. Like, you, you already know it's a fucking fun there. I'm show, I'm gonna fucking show it right now. That right there, Gyokuen and fucking Yunnan facing off. And my god, just look at the fucking sheer detail here. The thing that honestly gets me with this panel, and I know it's like, well, it's not the most detailed, but why do you like it so much? It's the fact of, like, the actual posing and the style of it, where you can honestly just see immediately how both characters are reacting, even though there's just a simple word of line there. It's Gyoko lifting her head up, just full of cockiness, full of ready to fucking fight and pounce like that, and just the hair flying everywhere with the staff by side, and Yunnan pulling the cap, being cool and collect. Like, it's honestly one of my favorite, and seeing two Margie's fight to the death is one of those fucking coolest things ever. Although we do not even have the start of that chapter where we actually get to see Aladdin watching TV with fucking Borgiana and Haku Ryu, where they're like, oh, get the orb gun and all that, come on with you know, take a break and all that, even though, like, like he's trying to do, like, teleportation magics, like, circles like that, and he's like, oh, you know, like, oh, we're still not there yet and all that, but it's like, you know, oh, like, we're getting there, and it's just like, them watching Alibaba, and he's like, hi, I'm from the Fan Fan Trading Company, presents his eight Try grams of refrigerator 2.0. Put away your like food away and ease, and it'll always stay fresh. And that there, how Haku you and the fucking chick from Kina Kingdom like that react, where they're just like, <clears throat> this sad. So, right. Pretty much, he's just become a fucking sad salesman. But it's like, like even when he's get like the more hilarious thing about it is that he's getting like people from like like the Co Empire. It's like, oh, but like, is it must be really expensive? He's like, not at all. And if you buy now, you get this many. I'm like, oh my god, like I'm having a fucking advert with Alibaba. I'm having. I'm having a commercial right now. The, like, the chapter is giving me a fucking commercial. And then you get to see all these things that they've done. And it's like the co-imperial trading co like company have done. It's like, a no a no now known as like the Fan Fan Trading Company. Making these I like eight trigram talismans. And it's like, oh, we can use them to emit light in the night. Or, or we can use them to, you know, like, make, like, you know, ships move during windless days. Or even, like, have some other bullshit going throughout the entire thing. It's just like having all these people like, oh, Oh yes, it's going great, Alibaba. Like you got the fucking old fat man from the start of the series. You got like all the farms. It's like food production is great. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like I'm looking at this and it's just like, wow, you are so fucking trying hard, and I mean trying too hard to make us like Alibaba and try in the world trying to make like this must be like how the world's like seeing this with like you're like oh my god like I'm seeing this awesome shit right now Alibaba must be a great guy right now even throughout all of that he's like you know like seeing that stuff he's like are you watching right now lad and I worry about that female voice like they interrupt you of what one thing I really really liked and it's something that not a lot of people probably notice is actually the third like it was the two girls from chapter one was in there I thought that was a really great reference that they were there and to like you know we don't see anything about them because it's like oh you know that's the start of this journey and it's always weird that you know Alibaba was the one that kind of like was the one that stayed on the journey and it's just like that happened to be it and I know like that's what's supposed to be the one shot is really like that kind of chapter one chapter zero that kind of just became it's a very weird story with how Maggie got that but it's just like I like I like seeing moments like that it's like oh we get to see those two girls after so long I thought that was a really awesome moment now let's talk about the stuff that matters because fuck Alibaba being a fucking salesman which is one of the most saddest things really to see with that character oh my god Yoko and Arba oh my god I call you many things but my god when she fucking approaches Yuna and Yuna and they're just fucking slicking and digging like around it and she's like I'm here for Aladdin you know that I uh, like he's on this dark continent and you're in my way Yuna and thanks to your little fucking tricks like the great Rift has become a dark maze with no exit and it took me a while to break out I was like no the, the, the entire great Rift has just been pretty much like this entire big maze it's like well it works in one way it's like this is what I have and it's like this old relic from future like days past and it's just like 
tell me. Well, like, I love how she was acting so calm at first. And it's like, why do you stand in my way? And he's like, I own this shit. This is my place. And it's just like, this is an empty shell, though. And it's like, after he gave up choosing up on his king. And it's like, well, we both are past our sell by dates, Slava. So, you know, you're a Margie from the past. And like, don't you feel ashamed, like, hindering a group of children? And just her reacting, even now, I can hear its voice. It won't listen to the words of a puppet of Solomon and just him just smiling just going I'm no puppet I chose Sinbad of my own will so I won't lose you and it's just the battle afterwards it's like oh it's just like one we're having a fight between two Margies that one I wanted to see a lot more of Yunnan because Yunnan I've always loved him I always thought he was really mysterious and I thought he was really cool and I've always loved his design and just like then you just go from that and him pointing the hat down and Arva just going I'm ready I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Like, just oh, honestly, it's like, I, like I said, it's my, it's one of my favorite panels just this year. And it's just like, I love Shinobu's art style because she just makes the characters look so fucking unique and crazy. Her immediately going in saying, I'm just going to use the he eight headed defensive wall going in. Cause clearly we can see like, like how like amazing Yunnan is when he's a uh, sheer, like we've already seen a little bit of this magic once before, very early on, like before the time skip is like, he ha makes real good defensive and support magic. And it's just like, even with that, it's just like, ah, uh, they like just go through, slashing through the wall, and she's just smiling and smirking, and it's just like, no, you can see that Yuna's getting fucking, like, he is fast, like, he's even, like, getting faster at some points with Gyoga, where it's like, there's a fucking image left behind, and just, like, completely hitting her, like, with the Rook, and she's just there, like, what fetal abilities, and just her going, oh, <laughs> just fucking screaming it off, I'm like, with pure fucking willpower, and it's just like, you're a bitch, you know, you only use defenses for support magic, you gave up on your king, you gave up on the world, and you've allowed your fangs to grow dull at the bottom of that valley, and you cannot defeat me, and just him going, oh, you think it's gone dull, have you, let me show you, a fucking lightning coming, and now, this is the thing on me already. I I I say this right. I don't give a fuck like at this point now because like I think how they're releasing these chapters is a, is a good and a bad way because one you get 308 like immediately translated at the same time though you have 309 come out in a raw. I saw 309 and oh my fucking god that. Like I like that's the thing because I'll do this review and I don't want to spoil you guys on 309 but. Oh my god, that we, we, that has to be saved for next week, but my word, my word, it, this, this fucking fight is godlike already, so it's like, just the start of the fight, posing and like, you know, Jojo in it like that, but it's just like, you had the start of the chapter, and it's fucking Aladdin, like, moving around with the magic teleport, like, he's the only one that's getting work done, and it's fucking them watching TV of the la like, I watched Three Kingdoms recently, I fucking love that show, and every part of the ending, I have this Chinese man, like, sell, like, a fucking Chinese, sell me, like, a, a like, air con at all, and saying, yes, three free kingdoms, you know, romance of the free kingdom, yes, that's Chinese, that isn't me trying to be, re that is actually all their own life in China, because that's what that fucking show is based on, and just every end of the episode, there's this guy just pointing to an air con, and I'm like, oh my god, this is Alibaba right now, the man who gave up being a prince, he's fucking selling it, like, he's selling re refrigerators, he's selling fucking refrigerators, it's like, seeing this shit, and it's just like, I, like, Hakari is just there, like, just, like, and everyone's just going... <clears throat> I, like, I know people are so big fans of, like, uh, like, uh, like Alibaba a lot, but it's just, like, I've always thought of him as the weakest guy out of the group, both, like, strong-wise and also as well. But, I'm like, you know, his strength is also a leader in that the fact that you doing stuff like this is how he gathers people. We already found that out, but it's just, oh, my God. It just seems like, like, I, what is next? Like, is Aladdin just, like, like going to, like, go there and he's, like, there, like, washing people's cars or something like that? Or he's going to be, like, on a radio ad or saying, hey, 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 I am, like, Prince Alibaba. Like I, I, I'm, I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for the radio interviews next. I'm waiting. Like my God, I'm waiting for him to fucking go for elections. Like Jesus Christ. Like oh my God, Alibaba. Like you're, you're a piece of work. I'll say that much. But like you, like even still, it's like 
It's like, oh, well, at least we know we're progressing with Aladdin and the group, like, they're moving along, and just seeing what the fuck he's been up to, and, like, seeing that already in the past, like, you know, a couple of months and all that, that he's been already back, that there's a bunch of stuff that he's already done, so I guess that's progression on there, and then fucking Yunnan and just, like, Arba are just insane. Like, it's just absolutely insane, and just, like, the art is fantastic throughout, like, near every part that we see it. I love how she just turns into, like, a delicate lady, then she has the psycho faces, then she has, like, I'm going to rape you face, and then then there's, like, I'm going to put, like, this star so far up your ass face. Like, this is what we want to see for a very long time. We want to see what Yunnan can really do, and Norse as well. With Like, just seeing Arba, like, near every week and all that is beautiful. I, lo I love her so much. And just like, yeah, I'm pretty sure some of those faces aren't supposed to make that. Like, that, like she's probably dislocating her, like, jaw of that. Other than that, like, everything, like, with Yunnan and uh, Arba is fucking perfect. Like, I, art is a 10. Art, just straight up a 10. I don't think the chapter's a 10 out of 10. Like, I generally think, like, the Alibaba bit's a little bit fucking too cringy, to be fair, like that, but I still think this is a really strong fucking chapter. I think, like, that is really good, and just showing off Yunnan, just like, yeah, let's see the specialty of him lightning bolt and him just grabbing the two fucking lightning bolts in his hand. It's just like, that stuff, if that was just the only part of the chapter, I would've gave it a 10, but, like, I'm sorry, but Alibaba fucking selling refrigerators is just like, does any, like, even during I know Alibaba fan, like, do, do you really want this guy to be a fucking, like, what next, Carl Shellman? Like, what, like, well, like, what, like, how far is this gonna go with this guy like that? So, I still think it deserves an 8.5 to a fucking 9, if I could, like I said, it's a 10 for the Yunnan part, a, maybe a 6 or a 7 for how fucking hilarious that is, but then as well, it's like, wow, that looks, that's really pathetic and that. I want, uh, like, Aladdin, uh, like, Hakari and all them saying, wow, we've seen you on TV, you look like a fucking, like, retard. <laughs> like, at that point, like, you look, like, we've been fucking training with red lions, a god's dragon, and I've been training with the fucking kingdom. What the fuck are you doing? You're selling refrigerators. They, I, I, I'm ending it there. Like, I mean, he trained for those couple of years, but it's like, man, yeah, nah, you're selling refrigerators, Alibaba, at the end of the fucking day. <laughs> Uh, I still love this chapter though, so let, uh, and I cannot wait for Free Night. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. That's all for me. So thank you much for watching as always, and you know, just gotta love that Maggie greatness. But fuck me, Alibaba. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.